Hello, my name is Luke and welcome to my first electronics video. Um, this is going to be the first part of a multiple part series where I'm basically trying to learn electronics and I'm going to be starting with one simple project and then just building on top of that and continue to learn as we go. And so this first project that I'm going to be building is basically it is a microcontroller that's going to connect to a, a couple of little electronics and maybe light up some LEDs. It is an order from Creation Crate, which is a subscription box service where they basically send you how-to guides of doing basic electronics. And I figured this would be a great first place to start since I've always wanted to get into this, but I didn't know how. Um, so I ordered it. They have a great online instructions of basically about how to go about it with a build. And so we're just gonna follow along and start, start the building process and see what we learn. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is start putting the board together. So let's go. So now that it has all been uh, pieced together and exactly where I want it to be, I want to explain a little bit about uh, what I did. So basically, the first thing I did was I placed down the LEDs spanning across the breadboard, um, the positive side being on over here, and then the negative side being over here. When that negative side is connected to the negative port to ground the wires, but then this positive side, we spanned with a long jumper cable all the way over to one of another jumper cable, which these three longer jumper cables are going to an output pin of 11, 9, and 7. And this is where we're going to use these output pins to code uh, to, to basically tell the, the breadboard when to turn on and what, what colors to send that pin. And then lastly, the thing that I put together was the photoresistor. And I connected this um, basically with a smaller jumper cable from the positive side. So that way it gave it some positive energy to the photoresistor, which is going to tell us uh, the light and how much light is in the room essentially. And then on that same exact column, you'll see that it is connected to a resistor. And the resistor is then also coded to the ground. So, so we have a positive in and then it flows through and then a positive out. But the last thing I had to do was connect this wire right here and on the the breadboard, you see that it is on uh, analog in, and that is on A5. And so this, this wire right here connects to the same column of this photoresistor. And the reason that is, is because we need to know exactly uh, what value is coming out of this photoresistor. And this analog in is going to give us that value that we can then take and manipulate. So now that we have it all um, hardwired, now uh, the circuit's looking good, now we're gonna code for it. And I'm just going to be using the Arduino um, IDE that is suggested that is compatible with this board. with the photoresistor where that where it is not lighting up when I like, cut take away the light um, so now we're gonna go figure out that <laughs> Okay, so now that we have it all coded and 
and everything is put together and we figured out all the issues and to debug what was going on um, with the photoresistor, now we're going to test it out to make sure it works. And so once I put my finger over the photoresistor to kind of take away the light, we should see the LEDs light up and maybe flicker based on the time settings. Look at that, it's working. Okay, perfect. That, is, that concludes this video. Um, stay tuned for part two where we start to build on top of this.